Hi y'all, she was seven. So, um, I've been on YouTube for a while and I do have my phone hooked up to where I get all the comments that come to my YouTube videos. And it's so funny, I always laugh when I get the guys that are upset about all this info I'm giving out to women. And I'm gonna read y'all the latest one, it's hilarious. Okay, I'm gonna, if it has a bad word in, I have to like bleep it out, but. Um, because cursing is not very ladylike. Uh, <laughs> okay, so. Da, 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 word. Uh, it must have erased it or it must have been censored. But anyway, somebody wished that I got hit by a car. Well, sir, I wish I got hit by a car too because then I could get paid. Okay. You didn't say you wish I die. You just said I wish... You wish that I got hit by a car. Yes. If I got hit by a car, I would be paid. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I don't take insults, y'all. Insults are beyond me. Like, your opinion doesn't matter. If you can't pay any of my bills, your opinion does not matter to me. Okay? Especially a man. Okay? <laughs> y'all don't even waste your time typing. Okay. So, ladies. Um... I have had a few success stories uh, since a few ladies have been watching my videos. They have come and written me, thanked me, and this is a lot. This is probably about seven. And they've told me that my advice has worked for them. They're, you know, they got a good relationship. They got their man back. They're, they found a rich man. They found a man that's gonna take care of them. They got married. Their husband does all this stuff for them. And, you know, I haven't really had this channel for that long, but they said that they have followed my advice. They have considered my advice. They have taken it to heart. They have changed a lot of the things that they thought they were doing right, but they weren't. And now they're happy and they're getting what they want. Um, so don't listen to those silly comments that some of those guys leave because they know it's working. They know women are raising their standards and they just, they're not gonna be able to please women unless they hire their own standards and their their own way of living, you know? It's kind of like, if we don't drag them up, they're gonna stay where they are, do you understand? If we don't drag them up to a higher level of, you know, expectations for themselves, for their family, for how they wanna live, the kind of woman they want, then who else is gonna do it, okay? Men are led by certain things. They're very simple creatures they're led by. The basic needs, sex, food, water, ego, okay? If you know how to, you know, use those things in your favor, then you're good to go. So, men, we we know that you're upset about this, but that's the only way y'all are going to improve, okay? That's the only way men have improved throughout history is because the woman has pushed him to become better, okay? Like, think about a long time ago the hunters and the gatherers. A woman say, hey, I'm hungry. I'm pregnant with your child, I'm hungry. Go out and get some food. Man is like, oh no, I don't, I'm scared. I can't go out there. Uh, uh, uh. And she's like, well, you better go out there because you're not getting no more of this unless I eat. So guess what? His bravery all of a sudden kicked in and he went and got some food, brought it back to her, let her eat. And then that is how it all began. <laughs> um, but basically, yes, we have to push the men to become better, okay? It's not good to be with someone who you have to push in the relationship. They should already be on that level, um, you know, as far as your standards. But when men are commenting and stuff on the video and saying we need to do this and we need to do that, to do that well, they need to improve. They need to upgrade, okay? You'll see them try to leave the country to find women who aren't as savvy as uh, and, does, and don't know that they're playing games with them or that still believe that, you know, the fairy tale ending is real uh, if they just love with their heart and not consider anything else. They will go exploit those women, but those women are catching on now, so it's kind of like, now where are they going to go? So they're really running out of options, ladies. So. Don't worry, keep your standards higher. You're gonna get what you want, okay? Believe me, I've had more success stories than I have had stories that did not end successfully. So it works, okay? 
seriously. And you know, when you make your demands, when you make certain demands, you can't look all kind of crazy, you know. It's, it's best to do it in person or on the phone so they can hear your voice. And you talk, you don't talk at them, you talk to them, you know. You just, it's how you ask, okay. You might be the rudest person in the world, but when you want something, you know how to get it, you know. I, I, I will say, oh, you know, you're so, uh, you're so nice, da, 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 blah, blah, blah. You know, you don't yell at them and demand what you want unless you've been married to them for like 20 years and y'all are okay doing that. But like, you know, yeah, you just, you sweetly ask, you look at them, you rub their shoulder and they'll give in, okay? It's very easy. Men, men are very easy to get them to do something. I mean, ask, go to the strip club and watch how those strippers work those men. Okay, I'm gonna tell y'all, this is y'all's homework. And some of y'all are probably prude and don't wanna do this. But take your man friend, not your boyfriend, but just go go with your brother, go with your friend from uh, work or something. Have him take you to a strip club and watch how the strippers lead these guys. Learn something from them because you know why? They know how to get what they want from them very easily. And, you know, mine is not having clothes on. Watch the other things that they do. Look how they talk to them. Look how they look at them. Look how they touch them. Look how they laugh at their stupid jokes. Watch very carefully. And this is how you get what you want out of men, okay? <laughs> yes, I've been to strip clubs, y'all. It's not a big deal. Actually, it's kind of fun. Uh, <laughs> You can see how much um, men are really infatuated with women. They're just like throwing money, like just giving them their money. And it's it's hilarious that then you see the guy two two days later on Facebook talking about, I'm not giving no woman no money, but they were just at the strip club throwing a paycheck. Okay, we don't believe you. Okay. <laughs> so y'all y'all like my new glasses, isn't it cute? I got this at the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna have a haul video on my other channel, my beauty channel, as well as a video on how to get this makeup look. So uh, y'all go and subscribe if y'all haven't subscribed already and go watch my um, other channel. But for, for now, like, yeah. And ladies, I know y'all are so sweet to go in the comments and like defend me from some of these people and that's really sweet. It touches my heart, but I don't, you know, it doesn't bother me if you think it does. Like, if you're just trying to help me because you're, you think I'm going to be um, offended or something, it doesn't bother me. Uh, like I said, I've been married for uh, 11 years, been with the same person since 2001. Nothing that comes out of any man's mouth is offensive to me. So, um, actually, it's funny because I did a video about um, how men insult women, uh, depending on how they choose to insult you is, you know, what they really are noticing about you, like what they really value about you. And they think it's going to hurt you if they, uh, <laughs> if they insult whatever it is, you know, men are very simple creatures. So I will say this, sometimes ladies overthink men. Sometimes they think men are thinking all out of this complicated thing and they're really not. It's just super simple. And when I say men are simple creatures, I'm not trying to put men down. I'm not trying to say y'all are dumb or stupid like that. I just mean when you say what you mean and you mean what you say, okay? You're not complicated, complex. You don't have to decode what you're saying, um, you know, half the time like you do women. Women are complex creatures, okay? We just are by nature, okay? That's just who we are. That's who we have to be because we're we're you know we have to do so many things we have so many tasks so many uh positions so many roles that we have to be complex in order to multitask and do all this stuff okay every day so when we say when we're overthinking things sometimes men just you know might have forgotten something and now you think that he's trying to break up with you because he forgot to call you um, at the same time that he normally calls you every day, but you know, maybe his phone was battery died. You know, women are super over analytic. 
and we need to kind of back up off of that and say, well, what would a man do? Like, how would a simple man think? You know, how would I, if I was a man, how would I think about this? I'm not going to try to break everything down, analyze it in detail. You know, I'm just going to say, well, you know, I was hungry, so I went to go get a sandwich. Okay, now I was hungry and I decided to leave and not call you because, and I left my phone at home because I was mad at you. You know, it's, I was hungry. I forgot my phone. Oh, well, you know, stuff like that. Don't overreact to simple things. Now, if it becomes a pattern and it's out of the norm, then that's when you start asking questions. But if it's like a one time thing that never happens and stuff like that, you know, don't overanalyze situations that don't need to be overanalyzed. Okay. So, man, I'm not trying to bash y'all. There are certain men on on um, YouTube that will say something bad because they know, you know, they have to up their game. They have to up their standards. They have to apply themselves a little bit more for the future in order to be in any type of decent relationship with the, any type of woman that they will actually want to be with. Okay. And they're upset about that. And they shouldn't be. They should just be trying to find ways to get better. Okay. And no, I, I don't care if y'all ask me, what, what do I bring to the table? I bring myself, and that's good enough. Do you have a table? Okay, that's what I, that's what the women need to ask. Do you even have a table? Do you have a house that you can put your table in that I can bring something to? Okay. Yeah, I can bring some food that you buy at the grocery store. Yes, I can. <laughs> anyway, I'll see y'all later. And thumbs up, and don't forget to um, go to my beauty channel for some more video mm. hauls and stuff like that. Okay, I'll see y'all later. Bye.